Welcome to another show, I'm Sid, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this split screen effect with multiple patches for one camera texture. As you can see here I have the duotone shader setup with black and white on one side and then a negative black and white on the other side. It's pretty cool. If we tap through you'll see I also have the tritone effect setup with some different colours here and a four-way split with the colour cycles patch randomly cycling through. Uh, I've also set up some border frames. I have a template link in the description if you're interested in those, although I won't be mentioning it too much. It's not really a part of this tutorial, it's just more for an aesthetic frame. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. This video actually came about because someone on Instagram messaged me asking how to create this effect, and it's taken me a few days to figure it out. But now that I have, I thought I'd make a video for anyone else who might be interested. So if you do have any questions or want to show me your filters or ask anything about them, feel free to message me on Instagram, on Facebook, or just in the comments below this video. With that being said, I'm going to pause it now, open up a new project, and we'll get started. Also, you will need GIMP or Photoshop or PixArt or some kind of photo editing software. Nothing too complex, uh, easily, easily done by anyone, but uh, you will need one of those programs to get started. So yeah, let's pause this and we'll get right into it. Okay, so we have our new project open, but we're just gonna leave that for a second as it is and open up our photo editing software. In this case, I'll be using GIMP, but you can use anything you like, Photoshop, PixArt, anything works, as long as you can do what I'm gonna do in this tutorial. Uh, so now that we have that open, create a new project, and by default it's set at 1920 by 1080, which is like standard HD video dimensions. All I'm gonna do is reverse that, so that the width is 1080 and the height is 1920. That gives us this nice phone display setup. I'm going to leave the background black. And what I'm going to do now is create a new layer here, which I'm just going to call left. I've already got it set up there. And I'm going to cut this width in half. So half of 1080 would be 540. Leave the height as it is. And there you go. Now we have this new layer, which is exactly half the width of uh, the background layer. Now I'm going to paint that in white. Leave it as it is. And duplicate that layer and rename it right. So now we have the exact same layer here sitting on top. What I'm going to do is hit Q, which will bring up our align tool. And then if I click on that, the one that we've just created, this new right layer, and then make sure that we're relative to the active layer. Come back down here, click on our background. So we want the position of this white box to be relative to, to move relative to the larger black background. So once we've got that set up, make sure that you've got the active layer as your background. Click on this. And then under distribute align, we're just going to push it over here to the right. Now if I hide the background, see I can hide the left, I can hide the right, and we have these two separate sides. We can do that again now, make our background visible. We can do another one for the top. And instead of adjusting the width, this time we're going to adjust the height. So 1920 over 2 is 960. So we'll change that and hit OK. So now we have the exact same thing, but we've got the top half of our screen instead of the left side. We'll make that white. And then we'll duplicate it, rename it, bottom, and do the exact same thing again. So hit Q for your align tool, select the layer that you've just created, make sure that your background is the active layer so that you're moving this in relation to this, and then distribute a line down to the bottom. So now we have our four sections, left, right, top, and bottom. I won't be doing the four quadrants uh, in this one. I'm just going to leave it at this because it's pretty self-explanatory. Now what you want to do is hide your background layer and export each of these individually. So the left one, I'm just going to export to the desktop, call it left, export that, and do the same thing for all of them. Uh, so I'm going to speed that up a little bit now. Okay, and now we're going to hide that. And if I minimize all of this for a second, then you'll see we have now all of these on the desktop. If I open them up, then you'll see what they are, exactly as they're supposed to be, the segments of our screen. You wanna leave them white as well because we're not gonna be adding them as textures, we're gonna be adding them into our alpha channel. So if I open this up now, uh, our new project, I can drag these four PNGs that we've created in here to our assets panel, let them chill out for a second, make this a little bit larger again. Oh, also you wanna make sure that there is no compression. So highlight all of them, make sure that all of your textures are selected. And then here under manual compression, you just wanna check this box for no compression. Uh, yeah, just so that when you export to your device, everything's looking good and the way it's supposed to. I'm also gonna be adding in this full frame, which I've created and is part of the template package, but that is completely optional. 
uh, so you can add that in if you want. Make sure that that has no compression as well if you do do that. And now let's set up our scene. So the first thing we're going to do is add a rectangle that will appear nested inside of a canvas. I'm going to rename this one uh, left right. And then I'm going to rename this rectangle left. Duplicate it. Name this one right. Duplicate that. Name this one frame. Now I'm going to make the size of these fill the width and fill the height. And now we can start adding materials. So we'll add a material for the left. Rename that left. Duplicate it. Um, we'll rename that right and frame. Control select all of them. Make the shader type flat. And then just make sure that they're all assigned to the right thing. So left for left, right for the right material, and frame for the frame material. So now we can come in here. And under the left material here, I'm going to check this alpha box. You want to leave your diffuse texture as it is. Check the alpha box and then select the left texture for that one. Do the same thing for your right one. Check the alpha box here. Select the right texture. And then the same with the frame, which is why it's white. You want to select the alpha for that and add your frame in. And as you can see, not much has happened right now. So what I'm going to do is view the patch editor here. We'll get that in the scene. I'm going to switch this over to 2D so that you can see it more clearly. Okay, so now I'm going to come up here to the camera in our scene and I'm going to hit this button for texture extraction. That will create this patch down here in our textures panel inside of our assets. We can drag that into our patch editor and it will create this camera texture patch. Now if we come into our library, we can select a few patches to use. For the example, I'm going to be using uh, the Duotone and the Tritone shaders. So import those or use any that you like. They all work pretty well. You can experiment with it, try and create some cool effects. But once those are imported, we'll drag the Duotone shader in first. And we'll connect from the RGB output of our camera texture to the texture input of our Duotone shader. And now if we come back here to our materials on the left, we'll create a diffuse texture patch and get that connected up. And you can see immediately the effect is taking place. It's working, which is great. So now if we drag our other patch in here, we'll create a diffuse texture for the right patch. You can just connect them both up to the same one, but there's no point in that uh, because you might as well just have done it with a single camera and not imported any of these alpha channels. So what we're going to do instead is duplicate the Duotone shader, connect that up to a separate one, still all coming from the same camera texture. And now you see it's working on both sides. If I come in here now, I can switch the colors around and create some cool effects. So let's try that. And there it is. Pretty nice, right? I like it. Uh, I did it with the black and white before, but you can play around and create any colors you like. So this is pretty sweet. Uh, and with the white border around, you can do exactly the same thing. So if I was to add this in, create a, diffu a diffuse texture for that, then I can also connect that up and it will have a very similar effect. Uh, so I could change the color of that to, for example, black. And it now has this gradient going around the edge as the color changes. So it's pretty sweet. It's a really cool effect. I definitely like this. I'm going to be playing around with it a bit more. I'll delete that for now so that our frame stays white because I think it looks better with those colors. And we can do the top and bottom ones next. So if we come back up here to this canvas, hit Control D, then it will duplicate. And now I'm just going to rename this from left, right to top, bottom. Rename this left to top. Rename this to bottom. We'll leave the frame as it is because it's just going to be using the same texture. And now with this top one, I'm going to create a new material, which I'm going to rename top. Duplicate that. Rename it bottom. Make sure that your bottom one is actually connected up properly. So make sure every material is connected to the right rectangle. Now we're back to this position again. Take our top and bottom materials, select those. Make sure your shader type is flat. And then we're going to do the exact same thing again. So with the top one here, select your alpha box, add your texture for the top. And add your texture for the bottom on the bottom one. Okay, you still can't see anything, which is fine. Uh, now we're going to drag our tritone shader in here. I'm going to duplicate that twice. Uh, duplicate it once, sorry, so that we have two of them. And get that connected up. RGB output to the texture. RGB output to the texture. Move these out of the way a little bit so we get some more space. And now if we take our top and bottom materials, create diffuse texture patches for them. Then we can connect those up and we get exactly the same effect but with a top and bottom split instead. So now if I change these colors to, for example, red, green, and blue, then you'll see how well it works. 
It's very cool. I really like this. Uh, definitely going to be playing around with it a bit more. If you want to create some interactions where you can now switch between these, then what we're going to do is double tap and add a screen tap to our scene. Drag out from your tap here and add a counter and then connect from that some equals exactly. First one's going to be at zero, duplicate it because we have two choices, top and bottom, left and right. So we'll change that value from zero to one. Now, because we have two choices, our maximum count needs to be two. And now what you want to do is control select both of your canvases, not the materials inside of them, but just the canvases themselves and create patches for the visibility on those. So now our top and bottom ones here, our left and right ones here, get those two connected up. And now when you tap, it will alternate between those two effects. Very sweet, very cool, very simple. You can play around with this and create a lot of interesting uh, visual effects. Uh, the black and white one was a good example. I really like these colors together. But yeah, you can adjust this, you can play around with it. Like I showed you in the beginning, the template here, there's also a four color split that I made. Let me unpause this quickly. And you can do it with as many as you like. So if you go into GIMP, you could probably do like a cross section. You could do circles, like ring circles going all the way around. Anything that you can create in GIMP and import as an alpha mask, then you can add a texture to and create all kinds of split effects in your camera. So that's basically it. Uh, I'll go back over there show you the patches that we have. So we have our camera texture here, connected up to two duotone shaders, two tritone shaders, and then our material textures here, uh, diffuse textures, sorry. We've created these alpha channel masks, which in GIMP, which we've imported and added to our left, right, top and bottom rectangles to create this split face effect. You can mess around with it, like I've said, come up with any ideas that you like. You can add it to the frames too, so you can like really push this effect quite far. The link to the full frame template and a whole bunch of other templates is in the description. So feel free to check that out. I hope you found this useful. I think this is a really cool effect. And to the person who asked me about this on Instagram, thank you for the recommendation. I really appreciate it. This is something that I'm now very interested in as well. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Peace.